Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another, yet another beer review. Um, we are off to Massachusetts. Before I get that in, before I start slow my words, we're off to Massachusetts. Massachusetts. And we're off to Weymouth. Not the Weymouth in Dorset, in this country, but Massachusetts. Lucky I haven't got full teeth, innit? <laughs> We're off to Vitamin C Brewing. And we have got a can of Dank is the new Juicy IPA. 6.4% um, ABV. One pint can, because that's what they do. That's how they roll in America. They're one pint cans, which we should have here. So... um yeah, Dank is new juicy. Super super smashing great. That's an old save for an old beer review. Um, what can I tell you about this? Well, not a lot, to be honest, because I went on Vitamin C Brewing website, and all they really want to talk about is their two tap rooms. They've got one in Weymouth, Massachusetts, and one in Cambridge. Not this Cambridge over here, but a Cambridge over there. Most probably in Massachusetts. So, <laughs> so there you go. Um, I'm just going to crack it open, shall we? I'm just going to crack it open, shall we? That sounds English. I'm going to open it. <laughs> I'm just going to open it. See what it's all about. I'm expecting this to be very, very good. Every American beer I've done lately has been excellent. Smells fruity, oranges, lemons. It smells fresh as well. There's a nice freshness about this. So let's pour it out like you do. Hopefully I'll make a good pour. It's doing it's a slight green tinge to the pour as well. It reminds me of a dipper or a tipper. Um, but yeah, it's in there. One pint can. Look at that. It looks gorgeous. It looks like condensed orange juice in a way. Stick that there like you do. Um, beer in a glass. Stick it up to the light where you can't see much through that. It does look a little bit juice-like. It looks pineapple juice. Um, let's get a whiff. There's a few odds and sods in there. Bits of float is about. Let's go with pineapple, juicy lemons, oranges. It smells absolutely lovely. I'm gonna go in. Cheers. It's dank. Lovely element of dankness to it. There's a beautiful sweetness behind that dankness. Uh, fruitness, sweet fruitness. Pineapple comes to mind. Maybe a bitterness of a nectarine in there as well. Um, it's very, very nice. It's... it's it's very, very good. I'm going again. Mouth is quite hard. So, for me, it suits to be fine because it gives it a refreshing quality, that hardness with the juiciness. Um, slight hint of alcohol presence in it. Not a lot. But yeah. It's a very, very good beer. Um, I think the past, what, past couple of months, this is about the fifth or sixth American beer I've reviewed. And in general, this is the last one I've got at the moment. In general, um, they have blown me away. Um, there's something about what they do regarding IPAs 
and sours after I've done a sour just now that really really stick out and for me I'm going to have to maybe go over there and I might, I might freeze it. You have to, I'm going to have to persuade somebody downstairs who's watching TV at the moment to maybe look at having a trip into America because they have breweries on every corner. It feels like they've got breweries on every street in America. And the beers that they produce are awesome. Awesome. This is this is what I get from just reviewing these few beers. I would imagine I've, I've delved on the internet more and finding breweries out there, and they cost a fortune over here to get them over here and sell them. It costs a fortune, but. The beer, you are rewarded by really, really good beer. So maybe Northern Southerner might have to do a trip over there. Um, I'm going again. It feels like there's lactose in that binding the flavours together the sweetness is a sort of creamy sweetness which you would get from lactose so it could be in there but overall I have to say it's a very very good beer boys and girls vitamin C brewing out of Massachusetts Weymouth Dank is the new juicy Thumbs up. Yeah, it's, it's nothing like what we get over here. It really isn't. It really isn't. Um, I'll go one more for the road. One more taste. That sweetness could be a hint of vanilla. But I can't, I'm not sure. There's no ingredients on it. So I can't tell you if it's lactose or maybe, maybe a hint of it. Anyway. Time for the hit feet to hit the street. Time for the street to hit the feet. See you in the next one. Look after yourselves. Bib bib.